Looking forward to tomorrow's show. Um, our very first time here. Feel excited about it. It's not that far from England, but yet it's been so long since um, we've hit this neck of the woods, as, uh, let alone here exactly. So I feel, feel good to be here. You said uh, earlier that you find Gibraltarians are the type of people that have an island mentality and are therefore quite attuned to the reggae ethos. Is that right? Yes, it, it definitely does. Um, I find that when it comes to places like this, there's a, there's a form of isolation from the rest of the world, just like an island. And I find that you know, when it comes to islands, they all tend to gravitate towards reggae music. No matter where, whether it's in the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific, Indian Ocean, the one goal is, is the love for reggae music. And of course, part of that reggae ethos is uh, fighting discrimination, fighting injustice. Uh, so do you find that these are qualities that uh, Gibraltarians tend to have? I would imagine so. I mean, um, the antagonism that they had with Spain, for example, over the years, which I was unaware of until today, um, I think denotes that. Um, it's, it's all about that, I guess. You guys are from Birmingham, and you're probably uh, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, reggae band outside Jamaica. Is that a big mantle to live up to? It is, in a way. Um, th there was a bigger mantle many years ago, but now, I mean, you know, um, knowing that when Marley passed, for example, yeah. um, we were always seen as a, the next band in line, you know, especially, you know, the, the world knowing that Marley loved us as a band. But now, I mean, all that kind of um, thing has passed now. And, you know, to be there out there with so many other reggae bands, especially coming out of Jamaica, and to know that we are still, you know, up there after all these years, we're still recognized as a, as a force to, um, to, 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 to be out there is a good thing. Legend has it that Bob Marley himself said that you guys were his favorite reggae band. Is that true? Yes, that, that is true, which will, you'll see that featured in our documentary when it comes. Uh, just uh, take us back to your, to your roots. Uh, in fact, uh, you, you describe your genre as roots reggae. Uh, what, what does that mean exactly to you? Roots reggae means to me, um, it's all about philosophies, it's all about politics, it's about spirituality, and Steel Pulse's music um, encompasses all, all, all of those three. Um, we, we believe um, the spiritual side of things, as far as I'm recognizing you know, Haile Selassie as um, the one that we devote you know, our cause to. Um, there's the politics side of things as well, where we see all the ailments that politicians have done to people across the world, and why. And you know, there's, there's so many different facades and dimensions to what Roots music represents, but those are the three basic things. And finally, your message uh, to your fans tomorrow night, what can they expect from this concert? Expect Steel Pulse for real. And I say that because um, we're gonna give you a good cross-section of all the music that we've done over the years as far as styles, and as far as um, you know, um, the, the, the older stuff, right onto the present stuff, what we're doing um, currently, um, we tackled racism. Um, we've tackled um, fighting with sp um, spirits. We've tackled um, chanting down politicians. We've tackled um, the, the, the law enforcements that are um, opposing us from time to time because of us being rasters, or simply because of um, um, the complexion issue. So it's going to be Steel Pulse uttering so many different um, lyrical messages tomorrow night.